Hi guys, just a quick flat earth video, how to measure the distance from the earth to the sun uh, using AutoCAD. This is by a channel called Globebusters and is really worth a watch. So I'll play you a snippet um, in the description. Please find a link to the original video. Thank you. Bye. Let's draw a little sphere there. Let's say it is a lamp. There you go. That's our lamp. Now, all we got to do is measure the distance from the lamp to the ground and compare it with the one I measured life. So the exact distance is 35.44 and the expected distance was 35.50 approximately. And this little difference wouldn't have existed if I'd measured the distance from the table to the center of the lamp and not to the shade holder because the lines go to the center and not to the shade holder. Now, before I show you anything on the map, let me show you first the exact distance to the sun using the exact distances from Google Maps. So I'm going to choose three cities, Madrid, Cape Town, and Ushuaia. So let's start with Madrid, Cape Town. This is the distance between them. And now I'm going to draw the exact distance in AutoCAD. Now let's see the distance between Madrid and Ushuaia. Here it is. Now I'm going to draw a circle with the radius of that distance. Now let's see Cape Town and Ashuaia. Here it is. And now I'm going to put another circle here with the radius of that distance too. There you go. Now you can say we got the three cities in AutoCAD. Now let me write the names quickly, Madrid, Ushuaia, and Cape Town. Now I'm going to draw these vertical lines because they are necessary to draw that shape we talked about before. Alright, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to add three circles just because I want to, okay? And now I want you to check this out. Do you see that? That is the altitude of the sun or the solar elevation angle. And that is exactly what we're going to draw in AutoCAD to locate the sun. And by the way, I'm going to do this on the cylindrical projection map. So just keep watching, okay? So this is Cape Town. And I'm going to change the time to 2 p.m. Madrid time. 3 p.m. in Cape Town. So the angle of elevation is 57.86 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw this angle in AutoCAD 57.86 degrees. Okay, perfect. Now let's see Ashwaya 31.89 degrees. Let's do it quickly. That's perfect. Now let's see him a trade. Thirty-three point zero six degrees. Okay, cool. Now it's time to draw that shape that I like very much. I'm doing it quickly, but you can play in slow motion so you can see it better. As I told you before, this shape is just to replace the compass and the azimuth. And to me, this is more precise and easier to do. Okay, I'm changing the colors now. Now, that is the location of the sun. I'm going to draw a little ball there. I'm going to give it like uh, uh, 34 miles in radius just to see how small it's going to look like in comparison with the Earth. And now let's measure the distance from the sun to the ground. Two thousand five hundred and eighty four miles. 
So if the distances between Madrid, Ushuaia, and Cape Town are correct, then the distance to the sun is correct too. So this is how the sun is going to look like on the floor.